Louisiana Beer Reviews, Shipyard Brewing's Old Thumper. Actually, it's, it's Ringwood Brewing's Old Thumper, but it's contract brewed by Shipyard Brewing in Maine, and that's been done since 1994. They said this beer was originally developed in 1979, however. 5.6% alcohol. It says a, a beast of a beer. Well, I've had other shipyard beers, and they were pretty good. Let's see. They used two-row British pale barley malt, ale malt, crystal malt, and chocolate barley malt. The hops are Challenger, Progress, and Goldings. It gets a good rating on Beer Advocate. The bros give it a good score. 63 out of 100 on rate beer, 76 out of 100 for the style, but it does get an excellent rating on the beer in me. I've never had it. I bought this at Aquista Paces in Covington, Louisiana. So let's see what it's like here on this slightly chilly day. It's not really chilly, but it's, a, it's damp, so there's a chill in the air, and it's very cloudy. I thought this might be a screw cap. It is, but it was really tight. I think all shipyard beers are screw caps, but they're usually really tight. You can't get them off, or I can't get them off. A lot of smoke. 5.6% alcohol is pretty decent alcohol level. Um, high, moderate, I guess you'd say. Uh, medium, off-white head, and a... Not the greatest lighting, but a hazy, semi-clear, bubbly, golden appearance. Orange golden appearance. Yeah, it's orange golden. Let's go with the aroma. It smells like a, a British ale. It's got that medium roasted barley malt, the uh, breadiness. The, little twang to it so it smells nice now the taste is bready and sweet and there's a little bitterness at the middle to end of the sip um, a little caramel a little bit toffee like you expect from these English ales got a medium mouthfeel. It's kind of soft, but not really. Um, the finish is semi-dry, and you do pick up a little alcohol now. I'm picking up a little alcohol in the taste, believe it or not. Um, <clears throat> well, that head came alive when I um, shook the bottle. So it has a little more liveliness to it than I first believed, and it looks like it had a little sediment. And I know it did because I can see a cloud descending, a grayish-orange cloud. So that's interesting. Let's go with the um, flavor now. It becomes a little richer and a little bolder getting more hops and you're getting more alcohol so um, I'm glad I shook that beer I mean I recommend shaking the bottle because you just never know what's caked down there there's a code but it makes no sense how would I how would I rate this beer well it's really delicious and it looks great and the glass and it's full flavored might be the best beer I've had from Shipyard so far. Yeah, I think this is really, really, really nice. So I'm going to give it a solid A. I think it's most excellent. I'm going to jump it up even higher than the beer in me. They said just excellent. I'm going to say most excellent. And now I see some, I see a lot of yeast particles all throughout the glass. So this is quite an interesting beer. So les et les bon temps roulés. This is a most excellent beer. Go get some Old Thumper. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to New Orleans and go to University of New Orleans basketball game.